Thousands of physicists from 62 different countries are about to embark on one of the most fascinating adventures in the annals of science. To take them on their quest, a search for a minuscule particle, they'll need the world's largest machine, one that weighs as much as six Eiffel Towers. On the way, they hope to show that our world is much simpler than it appears to our eyes, to put the last piece of a puzzle in place. This puzzle, called the Standard Model, is the best theory we have today to describe the structure of all of the material in the universe. Failure to find the final piece, the missing particle, could rock the world of physics and oblige scientists to rethink the standard model from scratch. The machine that's now being built lies in a circular tunnel that's 27 kilometers long and 100 meters below the Earth's surface. It straddles the border between France and Switzerland near Geneva. The Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, is part of CERN, the European Particle Physics Laboratory. The LHC is a powerful accelerator that will take bundles of subatomic particles called protons and shoot them so fast they'll crash into each other at nearly the speed of light. The energy released in the explosions will be so great the protons themselves will be ripped apart. Inside the accelerator, for an instant lasting less than the blink of an eye, the conditions will resemble those of the universe a tiny second after the Big Bang. In this unique setting, scientists hope to find the mysterious Higgs boson. A number of Weizmann Institute scientists, whose work is supported by the Nella and Leon Benozio Center for High Energy Physics, have joined this international undertaking. They are Professor Giora Mickenberg, Professor Ehud Dohovny, Professor Elam Gross, Dr. Vladimir Smachtin, Dr. Daniel Lelouch, and Dr. Lorne Levinson. About one billion collisions will take place inside the LHC every second. If the crashing protons were people, everyone on the planet would be running into everyone else every six seconds. Reading the data generated from all these collisions will be like listening in on the phone conversations of all the planet's populace at once, assuming each one is talking simultaneously on 20 phones. To identify the invisible particles created in the high-speed collisions, special detectors have been developed, each able to capture a specific type of particle. The special detector developed by Professor Mickenberg and a group of Institute scientists will, it is hoped, help to find the Higgs boson. They created this detector in the Mexico Building Laboratory for the Development and Construction of Particle Detectors, which was built on the Weizmann Institute campus with the generous help of our friends in Mexico. This lab is staffed with scientists, engineers and technicians that have come to Israel from 20 countries around the world. From Vilna. Tehran, Iran. Ukraine. Argentina. 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 France. Eritrea. Some of these people helped to install the detectors at the CERN facility. There they worked with colleagues from many other nations, including some from Pakistan. It appears that when the task at hand is no less than revealing the secrets of the universe, people of different cultures and backgrounds are able to put their differences aside. 100 meters underground, particles may be clashing by the billions, but the people nearby are reaching out to one another in peace. <laughs>